first of all, I, I'm just thankful to, to have the opportunity to to coach a good group of young men and, and have a coaching staff and an administration that's uh, really blessed me with some support this last month. And uh, it's been a difficult time, the most difficult time I've ever been through. And uh, I'm not, I'm, I haven't arrived yet, you know, uh, by any means. But uh, just excited to, to be the head coach at Texas A&M and thankful that uh, the coaches did a tremendous job of, of, of getting these guys prepared to play. And uh, the guys have done a good job of buying in and, and doing great things. Two questions. Talk about how good it feels to be out there, Coach. Well, when, when you're just trying to survive every day and feel good physically and mentally, you know, I, I, I'm getting better, you know, and uh, it was great uh, to, to, to be on the floor and, be, again, be coaching at Texas A&M. Uh, there are many a days and nights that I didn't think this opportunity would come this year. I'm not 100% recovered by any means, um, but I'm getting better. And I'm very thankful and uh, for the prayers and the support, and uh, that's gotten me through this. But uh, did, you, did you feel a reaction from the players when they knew that you were going to be on the sideline today? Uh, they've kind of. I've been around the last couple of days uh, in practice. Uh, I'm trying to get acclimated to what's going on. You know, that's that, that's the hard thing. I'm relying on my assistants, who have done a tremendous job. Um, but it's, you know, I just don't want it to be about me. You know, I want it to be about the players, the program, and uh, everybody else involved. And uh, unfortunately, I've been through a tough situation, but uh, I'm pressing on and, and, and believing great things are coming. I think so. I'm, plan I'm, I'm, I'm planning on it, you know, but uh, my situation is, is, is day to day. So, but I'm planning on it.